Foods high in oxalates. What you need to know. Dietary oxalates are considered anti-nutrients found in many plant-based foods. Some of the highest known sources are in foods thought of as everyday superfoods like spinach, beets, almonds, sweet potato, chocolate, chia seed, quinoa, buckwheat, black tea, turmeric, and black pepper. Oxalic acid, oxalate crystals, and oxalate salts are often collectively referred to as oxalates. These are substances naturally found in plants during their growth cycle and essentially designed to protect against disease and or predators. When it comes to dietary oxalates that plant sources produce and humans consume, they end up as either soluble oxalates or insoluble oxalates. Under normal conditions, they enter the body as free oxalate, oxalic acid, and bind to minerals in the gut where most become insoluble crystals excreted in feces or exit as soluble oxalates excreted in the urine. Although many individuals can tolerate moderate amounts of dietary oxalates without adversely affecting their health, others do not. We've read the book by Sally K. Norton entitled Toxic Superfoods, which is principally prompting many to practice an oxalate-free protocol. The following content is our own independent review of the oxalate dilemma, who may be most at risk, and some constructive opinions about this fairly new nutritional concept. What's wrong with dietary oxalates? The question is, what is wrong with dietary oxalates under strained digestive functions or when they're eaten in excess? This is when potential issues may occur. Under such circumstances, soluble oxalates in the form of free oxalic acid can enter the bloodstream and circulate around the body instead of being removed as waste material. When oxalates bind to minerals, especially calcium, they can cause nutrient deficiency as well as toxic accumulation, instigating various unwanted side effects over time. This is proposed by some to not only produce associated health risks like kidney stones, but also can be the main culprit behind many digestive, autoimmune, and other inflammatory conditions. Those who may be susceptible. Since as a human species, we are all so very different as far as body types, lifestyle habits, digestive capacities, age of life, and foods we choose to eat, dietary oxalate consumption and outcomes can vary widely from person to person depending on many factors. Generally, however, vegans or vegetarians who have been consuming only plant-based foods for many years can be at greater risk for oxalate-related issues. If you have a history of kidney stones or kidney disorders, you may want to consider reducing or eliminating oxalate-rich food sources from your diet. Oxalates are not found in meat, dairy, eggs, poultry, pork, or fish sources. Recommendations for daily oxalate intake As we mentioned, some foods are especially high in oxalates, but many are mid-range and lower range. Scientific oxalic acid analysis and food testing is presented in milligrams per serving amount. Foods are rated low, moderate, high to very high. The following approximations are sourced from the book Toxic Superfoods. Low oxalate foods are under 4 milligrams per serving. Moderate oxalate foods are between 4 to 9 milligrams per serving. High oxalate foods are over 10 mg per serving, and very high oxalate foods are over 15 mg per serving. Top Foods High in Oxalates The obvious thing to do if you're thinking about reducing oxalate intake would be to avoid some of the top dietary oxalate offenders. Here is the popular list of deemed superfoods that contain very high to extreme amounts of oxalates 
and their approximate milligrams per serving. The quantity tested in other foods is available from several online sources posted in the description box of this video. Some of these fruits and vegetables can become especially concentrated when juiced or blended into smoothies. Likewise, nuts such as almonds become condensed when prepared in nut milks and nut butter. There are some general daily guidelines to follow once you know how many milligrams of a food or drink may contain. A low oxalate diet is usually under 60 milligrams per day. A high oxalate diet is usually over 250 milligrams per day. An extreme oxalate diet is usually over 600 milligrams per day. An average diet consuming 25% fruits and vegetables can actually be up there between 130 to 220 milligrams a day, which is more in the higher range. Sally K. Norton says in her book Toxic Superfoods, in healthy people, a diet under 200 milligrams a day is probably low enough to avoid oxalate problems, 60 milligrams oxalate per meal. Opinions about oxalate food data. There are several databases and charts online for checking foods, although they are not guaranteed to be accurate. There are many factors that can alter the total oxalate content of any one food. Amount of oxalates, for example, can change depending on soil conditions in which it's grown as well as things like ripeness of food. Unripe fruits and vegetables will usually contain more oxalates than ripe ones. Measurements are therefore rough estimates as they may widely vary. This may be part of the reason why there is inconsistent information regarding amounts. Some say certain foods contain a lot of oxalates, whereas others say the opposite. Lastly, the general recommendations for daily oxalate intake can also vary significantly depending on the source. Since concern about dietary oxalates is a fairly new nutritional theory, we would say more well-rounded research is definitely needed in this arena. Precautions. Consult your nutritionist or healthcare professional before attempting an oxalate-free diet, especially if pregnant, nursing, taking prescription medications, or if you have a serious medical condition. Thanks for watching! For more in-depth info on oxalates, be sure and browse the links in the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure not to miss these additional health enhancing videos.